President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, which are the new sitting presidents of the United States of America, in case you've been living under a rock and you don't know about that. Anyway, the inauguration ceremony and evening celebration included musical acts like Lady Gaga, Jennifer Lopez, Katy Perry, and John Legend. But could you imagine if Cardi B were there too? <laughs> Late last night, the rapper joked that she, well, I'm guessing she jokes. I, I think she's not, she wasn't serious. But the rapper joked that she had planned to attend the swearing-in ceremony and perform her and Megan Thee Stallion's X-rated collab, WAP. Uh, no less, <laughs> but alas, she had a scheduling confl um, conflict. And then, this is her tweet. Uh, I was supposed to perform WAP at the inauguration today, but I had a dentist appointment. Maybe next time, she tweeted. Obviously, that gathered a lot of reaction. Now, wouldn't that have been a historical moment? Because despite being absent from the inauguration, Cardi B, uh, who has been vocal about politics, voting, and racial injustice, especially during the, the elections? <laughs> especially during the election cycle, was already had uh, had already had a one-on-one -on -one time with President Biden last summer. She interviewed the then candidate who had plans for the country and brought his attention to pressing issues like health care, um, care, and education. Uh, but yeah, I want to know what you guys think about oh, that. Mm. Mm. Like you said, it's going to be historical. It is going to be hysterical. Hmm. I can imagine the beats. You remember the, 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 at the beginning? Uh, it wouldn't work. Yeah, it would. Do you think it would work? I don't really care about the beats. I just care about the message of the song. Now, that, that's a very historical day. Would that it is work a, on the would inauguration? Would it work on the inauguration? Yeah. I was going to get there whether I was going to work. Oh, yeah, you want yes lands. or no? Yes, I want yes or no. Oh, no, it wouldn't Okay, let's work. show you what the actual inauguration day performances looked like. Please take a look. Mr. President, Dr. Biden, Madam Vice President, Mr. Emhoff, Americans, and the world. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never-ending shade? The loss we carry, a sea we must wade. We've braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always peace in the norms and notions of what just is, isn't always just is. 
And yet the dawn is ours before we knew it. Somehow we do it. Somehow we've weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. We, the successors of a country and a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting. That in itself was a grand um, record-breaking uh, speech by poet, uh, spoken words by Amanda Gorman, mm -hmm. making history like never before. And I think that kind of precedence is amazing. But um, uh, what did you guys think? Some people didn't like her, her spoken words. I don't know if you saw more of that. Mm -hmm. Did you like I it? I liked it. I think it was powerful, especially for black women in this mm -hmm. time and age. So mm -hmm. yes, it is a very powerful Definitely. speech, spoken word. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was even more so about like the summary of the last four years mm -hmm. for them. So mm -hmm. that was a lot more interesting. I think it wasn't, it wasn't just, for, I mean, she did talk about how like, she wanted to be president and now she's reciting for one. I guess that's powerful for a black woman that they, isn't that much she can't achieve anymore. But um, either ways, it was really phenomenal. I liked uh, Lady Gaga's performance. <laughs> Yeah, even though people dragged her, <laughs> yeah, even people dragged her for that. I wish that's what we are going to show. Um, and then even J Lo's performance, mm -hmm. speaking in Spanish. I mean, the whole of Trump's I inauguration. Trump's exactly, yes. Trump's mm -hmm. inauguration was about you know um, Trump's presidency rather was about really clamping down on the Hispanics and the Me mm -hmm. uh, Me Me Mexicans okay. uh, and all of that. So that was really nice. But let's go on a quick break. We have a guest in store, and I want to have more than enough time to have a chat. So we'll be right back. Thank you. 